In a peculiar case that echoes the Steven Spielberg movie The Terminal, a 36-year-old Syrian has been stuck in transit in the Malaysian capital for more than a month. Hassan al kunthar has been stranded at the Kuala Lumpur's budget terminal for the past 45 days. He has been constantly posting videos, blogs of his daily life on Twitter and Facebook, attracting the attention of human rights groups and the media. He's even tagged Tom Hanks and called his plight the Terminal 2 in several of his tweets. I did not see my family since uh, almost nine years now. I lost my father. I, I could not attend the funeral. This is a story of hundreds of Syrians who, is stuck, who are stuck at the airports, uh, suffering because of uh, their nationality and the uh, passport they are holding. Uh, airlines are not allowing us to board because of our nationality. We are facing a kind of racism uh, and hateness, rejected, unwanted. al occasionally splurges on a coffee brought to him by airport cleaners and sleeps on the floor of the uncomfortable chairs. Hello everyone, it's uh, 10 a.m. here in Kuala Lumpur International Airport. Yesterday night I slept for uh, four hours straight with no, with no breakups. It felt good. I can feel my strength again. Um, I start my plans today to get some coffee. I'm still working on it. It, it will happen. It will take some time, but it will happen. I can, I can feel the coffee now and smell it. I need it. Uh, but it will take some time. Al Kuntar had left his home in Syria in 2006 to avoid compulsory military service and seek a more prosperous life in the UAE. But after the start of the Syrian civil war, the Syrian embassy refused to renew his tra travel documents. His resident visa also not issued. He was then expelled from the UAE. Since then, he has been unable to seek asylum in any other country.